hello all in our last video we are finished with diversity on the basis of habitat and in this video we are going to discuss about diversity on the basis of habit so let's discuss what are the different diversity on the basis of habit that is on the basis of shape size and form how the plants are divided on the basis of a habit angiosperms are classified into four different group that is herb shrub tree and column so first one is herb in case of herb the stem of plant is green delicate and short usually usually their life is short they complete their life cycle within one year have it less than that for example wheat and gram here is the photographic image of wheat this one is the photographic image of wheat in some herbaceous plant the underground part of stem is greatly reduced but the aerial branch with flowers at the top arises from arises from underground part of the stem on the basis of a, sorry on the time of a reproduction for example onion it is a underground stem modification and flowers are developed on due time of a reproduction so this is the this is the onion next is the shrub these are the woody plants branched and larger than herb herb sir woody and they are normally larger in size than herb usually several stem but no main axis for example china rose here is the example of a china rose so here several branches but there is no main axis next is tree the plants are longer or larger than shrub head and woody very well developed and thick possesses prominent trunk trees are again divided into three different types that is caudex excurrent and deliquescent what is caudex in case of caudex the stem is on branch and usually bear a crown of leaf just because there is the crown of leaf at the apex it is the term comes that is caudex for example dead plum so here is the dead plum next is excurrent the lower part of the stem is thicker which gradually taper towards the apex as it is the shown in the photographic image here in the first image this one this one gradually taper towards the apex gradually taper towards the apex this one the plant appears conical due to acropital arrangement of branches on the main stem these are the acropital succession where old at the base and young at the apex it is the acropital arrangement it is looks like a cone say conical due to acropital arrangement next is deliquescent the apical board of main stem dies after some time and the branches and sub branches spread in a different direction main stem is died some some cases and branches and sub branches are spread into different direction it is called deliquescent tree for example tamarind here is the example of tamarind indica next is clumps in this 
plants nodes and internodes are extremely prominent internodes of such plants are usually hollow i think you are all are well known with bambusa these clumps and hollow inside it is hollow and the portion between two successive node are called internode these plants are grasses but cannot be considered as a herb or a shrub or a tree for example bamboo next is diversity of angiosperm on the basis of a nature of stem depending upon the nature of stem angiosperms are divided into erect creeper trailer and climber so first one is erect these plants grow upright most are trees shrubs and some herbs have a strong stem and thus can stand erect on soil erect the example may be mango tree may be sandalwood dactylon etc erect straight with stand on the substratum in a straight position next is creeper these plants have a trailing stem having a root throughout the length since these plants have a weak long and thin stem they creep on the surface of soil as the stems are weak and long so these are act as creeper leaf emerges from node leaves are developed from the nodal person from the axil which bears branches and from the axial portion branches are also developed adventitious roots are arises from the node we already discuss it in our last videos that in roots how nodes are developed from the uh, sorry how adventitious roots are developed from the nodal portion so creeper are the weak stem and very long leaf are developed from the node also adventitious roots are developed from node for example oxalis cynodon etc here is the photographic image of oxalis and this is the money plant next next is trailer stem sprawling on the ground with the help of adventitious root these plants are like a creepers with the difference that here adventitious root root does not arise from the node it is a creeper but why it is trailer only the means sprawling on the ground and it doesn't have a adventitious root to develop from the nodal portion nodal portion doesn't be bear any adventitious root trailer may be procumbent or decumbent in procumbent trailer the stem lies completely horizontal some are grow horizontally and some are grow vertically also but in case of procumbent stems lies completely horizontally so example is basilla here basilla alba next is decumbent the apical part of the stem is arises above the ground example linden burgia next is climber these plants with weak stem climb on some support by means of tendrils petioles spines adventitious root etc means petiole spine tendril or help them to climb on a support example is piper beetle here is the form of a piper beetle where the beetle plant is have the support of this supports and it climb on the support system here we finish with the habitat on the basis of sorry habitat and 
diversity on the basis of a stem if you have any query please comment in the comment box thank you